Up next, uh, we have a team. Uh, they made a game. Uh, we have a, a cabinet full of games uh, here at Full Stack, and then occasionally different students and fellows uh, bring games through. And uh, they played a game. Uh, you might find it familiar, uh, the Bananagrams game. Uh, and so I'm going to pass it off to Amanda to tell you about this game. Thanks, Colin. And we built Bananagrams. Bananagrams, if you've never played before, is a lot like Scrabble, but much more fun because it's a race. Tiles are divided evenly between players, and whoever uses all of their tiles first wins the game. We built our version from the ground up, primarily using React Redux and Firebase as our front-end database. To best explain our code infrastructure and showcase our components, we're going to walk you through a quick game. We're going to start at our beautiful home at our beautiful main menu, and I'm going to create a game with three players. I just randomly generated a game ID on the main menu. In our database, a unique game has been created and put 144 random lettered tiles onto the community game pod. And here's Kevin to start us through the game. Thanks, Amanda. So the new game also assigned a unique player ID to Amanda and gave her 21 tiles, though she can't see them yet. Now Amanda is in our waiting room. To join her, Tom and I have to enter her game ID. The waiting room updates as Tom and I join Amanda's game. Now that we've all joined, any one of us can click the split button to start the game. Get it? Split? Banana split? Never mind. So when I click split, Tom and I are given 21 tiles apiece from the game pot, and the game begins. Now here's one of our favorite features. It also happened to be one of the most difficult features to code. To add suspense to the game, we created miniature versions of each player's board and added them to every player's screen. In brief, as Amanda adds tiles to her board, I see her progress out of the corner of my eye. Under the hood, Firebase is constantly watching and instantly updating the coordinates of every tile from every board to every player's screen in real time. And it's our first time using Firebase. Trust me, it's awesome. Now here's Tom. Thanks, Kevin. And great job on those real-time updates to every player's screen. And did you say that was the first time you used Firebase? That's correct, Tom. <laughs> that must have been taking a long time and been a true team effort. So this is my board. I've got a big problem. I have a queue and I have nowhere to put it. What am I going to do? It's time to dump. What? When I needed to get rid of a tile, I select a tile and dump it back into the game pod. As a penalty, I get three new tiles. And now let's take another look at Amanda's screen. You can see she's about to use her last tile. When she places it on the board, her peel button lights up. When Amanda clicks peel, every player gets a new tile from the game pod. If she uses them quickly, she can bury us in an avalanche of letters. When the community pod is depleted, Amanda can submit her game and claim victory. And here's the grand finale, dancing bananas, woo! On day one of our project, the first thing that we did was actually play three games of Bananagrams. It seemed pretty straightforward. Then we started to code. By the end of the first day, we had a running joke on our team. That should be easy. What wasn't obvious at first glance was the amount of knowledge that a player brings to the game and the complexity of thought that actually occurs in the game. Even if you've never played Bananagrams before, you know what a tile is, what a board is. You have a vocabulary. You, you know if your opponent, opponent plays a word with seven consonants in a row and no vowels, you should probably challenge it. You know all of that before you've ever played the game. And after integrating React, Redux, Firebase, jQuery, Heroku, Radium, HTML, CSS, and Merriam-Webster's Dictionary API in 423 GitHub commits, our app knows most of that too. Thank you for your time. We hope you'll check out our code on GitHub and our app at bananagrams.herokuapp.com. Sorry, um, sorry, David and I were just too busy playing. Uh, a, we're actually um, playing a quick game of game right bananagrams. now, and I'm beating Nimit by four points. So, um, oh, very, very, very well done. I think bananagrams is. I, I really like you know what was said at the end that games are we we take so much for granted, right? But all these nouns that we like talk about, like every noun has to be encapsulated, or every noun, every verb with that noun has to be encapsulated into software. Right, yeah. and it's like you started saying like tile. Oh, I gotta create like a tile a representation of a tile and code. You know, placement, relationship to each other. It's um, it's a really that's why one thing I love about games is that it's 
it's a job of mapping reality into software, which I think is what software programmers do day and night, right? Um, and oftentimes they're doing it with more abstract things like line of business rules. But when you have a board game, it becomes very um, concrete, yet it still captures the complexities of, of that mapping. Yeah. Um, also, my screen right now says victory. Um, <laughs> that's why it has a lot so, of bananas on it. And so, uh, but yeah, great, great job. Yeah, very nice.